Hey guys, Metal Driver 89 here bringing you another WWE review. However, today I'm not looking at a figure, but instead I'll be looking at a playset, the Reckon Slambulance playset. So taking a quick look at the box, we see the Slambulance peeping through the box. We see in this really good image of the Slambulance with many figures utilizing the action features of the Slambulance, featuring descriptions such as launching action and bumper to bumper destruction. Side of the box features the same image as the front. Then the back of the box features more images of what the Slambulance can do. Alright, so let's go ahead and open this vehicle up and take a closer look at the Reckon Slambulance. Alright, so upon opening the Slambulance and taking it out of the packaging, you'll notice that there is a bag with stickers and also instructions listed on how to apply the stickers and how to apply the breakable pieces onto the Slambulance. So all you have to do is just follow the instructions and it's pretty simple. It only took me about a couple minutes to apply everything. And then here we have the Slambulance with the stickers and pieces attached to the vehicle. And as you can see, it looks pretty good. I mean, it looks exactly like how an ambulance should look like. So not a whole lot of paint detailing on the vehicle. We have the red line going across. Most of the paint detailing comes from the stickers that are applied. And then you've got other specific details to the vehicle, like the doors here. You got the step here. And then the wheels are a solid plastic, so it's not a rubbery wheel. Now looking at underneath, you've got some detailing there on the vehicle, so it's not just a solid blank plastic. Then looking at the other side, same detailing. The doors here are a little bit different because it has a different mechanism. Then looking at the front of the vehicle, you've got the hood here, so this is also a breakable piece. you got the WWE logo on the front, and then it has its license plate which says Country Strong Reckon 1. Also you can see the headlights here, so again, more stickers. So overall, not too bad. Then on the back, you've got the back door, another license plate, some more WWE logos. These doors do swing open to reveal the other piece here, which is the uh, stretcher, so you can actually put a figure on here. Alright, so I had my Ricochet figure lying around on my table, so he can fit on there pretty nicely, so this fits WWE figures, and you can detach this here to move him off. So looking inside, there is a play mechanism there, which I'll show off a little bit later. Alright, so taking a closer look at the inside of the Slambulance, so there's actually quite a bit of detail, but it's not sculpted detail, it's all from sticker decals. So I think this is a nice touch to include all this in here. So it does give it some nice looking detail inside, it looks pretty good. To go over the, some of the features of the playset, so the roof here can break open. So you can actually pop through it from the bottom. Then I have a figure pop out, so that's good for if you got big guys like Braun Strowman or Kane. The side here can break as well. So you can have a wrestler or figure going through the door. Now I will say that this is a bit difficult to push open. So I'm not going to actually hurl my figure through this. But for the sake of toy photography, I'm sure it would look good. Especially if I have a guy like Kane throwing an opponent through that. The top part of the roof can kind of cave in as well. So if you got a guy doing a slam on top, you can push down and kind of make dents there. So maybe if you have the Undertaker doing a choke slam through an ambulance. Also, the hood of the ambulance can also dent. So again, doing like a move, like a power bomb, throwing a guy on there, and then this can dent. So that looks really cool. Then the doors do swing open, so you can actually put your figures inside the ambulance. So you can have wrestlers or other figures driving the vehicle. And then the doors on the side here. These were detached when opening the Slambulance. They were in the little baggie. So I'm assuming that these can pop open or if you slam a figure there it will break apart. However, mine's a bit tight so I'm not going to force it. And then there are these pegs at the back of the Slambulance on both sides. So you can actually peg in your figure. Have them standing on here, so that works really well. And then the final mechanism that this vehicle features. Here at the front, if you push on the license plate, there's a button there. That'll send the stretcher flying out from the back of the Slambulance through the doors. So hopefully I can catch that on camera. I'll position it nice and well. So again, just pressing down on the license plate. 
will send the stretcher out flying. All right, and here is the Reckon Slambulance vehicle next to the previous release Reckon Slammobile. So as you can see, they scale accurately with each other. Then as a reference, here is the Ricochet figure standing next to both vehicles. All right, so what are my thoughts on the Reckon Slambulance playset? I think this is an awesome set. Now, I am pretty sure that these vehicle playsets are geared towards children since it has a lot of play features in them. However, if you are familiar with my channel, my channel isn't geared towards a younger audience, but rather it is geared towards the adult collector. So even though a younger audience may enjoy a playset or a vehicle, would a collector enjoy this? Well, honestly, that depends on what you do with your collection. I think if you're someone that just buys wrestling figures to have them displayed on a shelf, maybe this isn't really something that you'd want to pick up. However, if you are a collector that's into toy photography like myself, I think this would be perfect for toy photography. Whether it's in wrestling where you want to recreate certain scenes where wrestlers are going into an ambulance or they're fighting near an ambulance or using a vehicle to perform a move on. Or if you're into non-wrestling toy photography where you want to depict a scene with an ambulance. In the realm of toy photography, I think this is perfect. For a collector that's just looking to display their figures on a shelf, I can see this being a pass for that type of collector. So it really depends on what your use of this will be. For me, I'm into toy photography, so I think this is a great set for me to pick up. So if you're into that, I think you should pick this up. So if you like this review, go ahead and hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe so you can see more WWE reviews. As always, stay tuned till the end to see pictures of this playset in action, and I'll see you next time.